Take my word for it. God is something else. Okay, let's uh, back again. Let the truth be known so our ancestors may rest in peace. Through us, they are forgiven. The 12 tribes of Israel are Judah, American Blacks, Benjamin, West Indian Blacks, Levi are the Haitians, Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Manasseh are the Cubans, Simeon are the Dominicans, Zebulon are in Guatemala and Panama, Gad are the Native Americans, Reuben, Seminole Indians, Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, Ishikar, Mexicans and Aztecs, Nephthal, Argentinians, and Chile, and Chile. And I'm gonna give a, a special shout out to the Seminole, the Seminole Native Americans because I read in uh, in Trail of Tears they were very very kind native americans owned slaves and the seminoles were very very kind to their slaves and their slaves married into their families and this that and the other but anyway let's get um let's get to it the reason for the curse was was of course the fact that we did not follow the ten commandments with this being said, our relatives suffered 400 years of slavery. And the only way that they can rest in peace is if we recognize the truth. Then they can, rec then they can rest in peace. Because our ancestors, they fought on those slave ships, fought to get off those slave ships. I know some of you heard the heard about the movie Amistad, they fought in courts, they fought, they took over slave ships, they fought like dogs and cats. Then we have the Civil War, they fought for us in the Civil War, they fought for us for civil rights. Each of us is indebted to our ancestors for still being, for still being alive, and not being wiped off the map. And for them to rest in peace, we need to let we need to let the world know the truth be known so our ancestors can rest in peace. Each and every one of us Hebrew Israelites, we have ancestors who have died and who have suffered and who has bust their butts, given their lives so that we can be free. Now it's up to us to carry that torch on. The first battle we had was the Civil War. That was a fierce battle fought with guns. The second battle we had was nonviolence. And children were put and children fought and were sprayed with water hoses and everything else. And they survived. And we survived because of them. We have our freedoms because of them, but those freedoms are still challenged. Now, it is time for a spiritual revolution. The war with guns is over with, nonviolence is over with, now it's a spiritual war. And this war is going to be led by God. This war is going to be led by God. All we have to do is follow God. And let me tell you something else about the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is easier to follow than going to church. You follow the Ten Commandments. I had a buddy of mine, Bonner. He always told me, he said, man, the only thing you got to do, man, is just never mind all that. Just follow the Ten Commandments. Follow the Ten Commandments. I kind of looked at him and just kind of pushed him off. And then it's, all of a sudden, it dawned on me. As Hebrew Israelites, the curse was because we didn't follow the Ten Commandments. The curse had nothing to do with paying tithes. The curse had nothing to do with being celibate. Had nothing to do with none of that. None of it. 
it's easier to follow the Ten Commandments than go to church. Much easier. Much, much easier. Think, don't believe me? Think about it. Think about it. Follow the Ten Commandments. Deuteronomy. No, Exodus 20. Exodus, Exodus 20. Exodus chapter 20. Verse 3 begins the Ten Commandments. That's all you got to do is follow the Ten Commandments and it's done. And it's done. And it's much easier. But but I can't. I hope you feel this because like I said before, I don't want to beat, 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 beat this fact. But each and every one of us, we've got to take the pressure off our ancestors and let them rest in peace because they fought for us. They fought for us to get here. Now that's the least thing we could do. Fight for your parents. Fight for the injustice, the injustice that has been done to us. Fight for the making of the movie. Birth of a Nation. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. It was spread all over the world. A lie. Men in blackface pretending to be us. And violate us. Then, years later, now what did they do? They copy off of us. And still pretend to be us. They imitate us and then call us stupid. They make movies like Hidden Figures. I think that's the name of it. And then they call us stupid. They make movies like The Red Tail. Then call us cowards. Well, it's time for us to stand up and let the truth be known. We are not cowards. We have never been cowards. And we are Hebrew Israelites. And we are God's chosen people. And I want to say this to those perpetrators of evil. We went through 400 years of slavery because we violated the Ten Commandments. Now, what do you think you have coming for you? If you don't get on your knees, pray to God, ask for forgiveness, and then pay reparations. Then pay reparations. Because God is not, because some Hebrew Israelites, they're not going to make it. Because God is based on, God looks for character. Many all are chosen. Few answer the call. All are chosen. And we have a choice to answer the call. And you have a choice to pay reparations for what you've done. Now the reparations is not for me. The reparations is to cleanse your soul. It's for you to pour the alcohol on your wound and clean it and disinfect. And walk with God. So with that, I'm going to um, with that I'm going to say uh, God bless us all, um, and it is through truth that we will have a brighter tomorrow. And as I said in all my videos, truth to the soul and the mind is what food is to the body. And with that, God bless us all. Have a great day. And uh, let's try to make this world what it's supposed to be. Because it, it don't have to be like this. This is ridiculous. It doesn't have to be like this. There are enough resources for every human being on the face of the earth. We should be, going, we should be owning the moon, the Mars. Every planet in this solar system belongs to us. And we got millionaires and billionaires after all this work we've done, they want to sell joy rides to space. Do you know how ridiculous that is? How ridiculous and what a waste of human intelligence. And they say that a mind is a terrible thing to waste. But it's not the black mind that has been wasted. It's those who want to take joy rides into space. 
and whose greed dominate the race, whose minds are going to waste. God bless. Have a good one.